My name's Adrian Mason and I'm the National Sales Manager for EI Engineering. EI Engineering is a company that designs and manufactures high performance, robust, earth moving attachments for the construction, quarrying and mining industries. Attachments that we manufacture, we design to be very robust in their design, are made of better materials and designed to actually ease the burden from the operators. Rock buckets are usually used in quarries and mining um, and they come in various sizes, usually starting at about uh, 20 tonne excavators and going all the way up to some up to 360 tonne excavators. Um, they, they are on the end of the excavator arm and uh, they are designed just to basically to dig rock all day, every day. Which, and some of the rock is, is very, very hard and quite abrasive. So they need to be very tough and very solid. In, in that design is important, the materials are important and wear packages. We design our buckets to dig, to dig easier, to, um, to work harder, to produce more and, and, and save money in the, in the economies of actually digging. So to actually make the excavator dig easier and load easier so that the, it's not wasting fuel and power and of course human resources and time. The double radius design that we use for our buckets is simply designed to so that the, the bucket catches the material rather than grinds through the material. There are buckets out there that have a flat bottom design. In that flat bottom design they, as they go through the cut, they, the, the flat bottom heels into the cut, pushing the material back into the earth. Now when it's rock, it's, it has a twofold effect. So firstly, it's wearing that heel of the bucket prematurely, and secondly, requiring more power from the excavator to actually drive it through so it's collecting that dirt or that material. And in so doing, you're wasting a lot of fuel because you're using the excavator to its fullest capacity. The double radius backplate design is um, unique to only a few manufacturers in the industry. And number one is because of its cost. Uh, a lot of the manufacturers don't, don't use the double radius design because of its cost. The other part of it is because of the engineering required to actually draw it up and, and calculate it. So the double radius design is curved 100% all the way through. So it has a very tight radius up the top and a very long radius down the bottom. That is designed that when the bucket actually goes through the cut, that it follows the teeth through the cut. And in this way, there's no extra horsepower required from the machine. So it's actually just the, the dirt is, or the material is just falling into the bucket and it is just and it's creating a very economical cut. EI Engineering's buckets are also tapered from bottom to top and front to back. Right? And it's, it's, this is very simply done because otherwise the buckets can actually um, get caught and, and stuck in the, in the cut. Now this is not just rock buckets but it's also other buckets. It's, and it's designed to not only alleviate the, the horsepower on the machine again uh, by uh, pulling a bucket through the cut, through the material, but it's also designed to, to increase the wear resistance of the bucket. The bucket geometry is a very interesting point. It's, it's what makes the excavator dig better. So if, if the geometry of the bucket is correct, it is digging at the correct angle, so it's getting maximum penetration into the material. And then as it pulls through the cut, it's actually taking more material out and it's easier to fill a bucket load. And that's very, again very important from number one is, is from the operator's time angle because it's, it's easier to load, it's loading quicker. And secondly, again, from an economical point of view. So it becomes very economical to run again. With rock buckets, it's very important to have the, the, the right tooth system and generally in quarries and mines, they know the material that they're using, how hard it is, how, how abrasive it is, um, also how, how it, it fractures. 
and it's important to have the tooth system that really works with that type of material. So with EI Engineering, we don't have any particular tooth system that we push, so we're able to put exactly the right tooth system that, that is required for the particular application. The other thing with um, abrasiveness and hardness of rock is that it's very important to, to put a wear package on, onto the excavator, or onto the bucket I should say, so that it stops the wear of the actual structural integrity of the bucket. So the wear package can be put on as an internal liner and an external liner, as, as heel blocks, various applications protecting that structural integrity of the bucket. So that these, once they wear out, these wear packages can simply be replaced and the, the bucket is like brand new again. EI Engineering have a 12 month guarantee on every product we sell. It's very important, it's, in, it's a new for old replacement and you know, we stand by everything we do. So we only build out of high quality materials. All our attachments are all built from Bisaloy, which is a high strength material, and then wear packages are included on top of that, which are even higher strength again. Um, and that's really important because when you buy an EI engineering bucket, you want to know that you've got a, a long life product and it's guaranteed. A well-designed bucket can save up to 10 litres of fuel per hour on an excavator, and that's just on a 20 tonne excavator. Larger excavators will require more. Now, 10 litres of fuel, being diesel fuel per hour, can amount to savings of up to $50,000 per year. That's massive. The other thing is it's important to realise that a machine is only as good as the bucket that it's digging with. So, a very powerful excavator with a poorly designed bucket can only perform poorly. However, an average excavator will perform very well with a well-designed bucket. 